Well, a terrific little multi-chemistry um, LED battery meter. And what do we mean by multi-chemistry? It can handle lithium-ion lead acid and lithium-ion phosphate. Uh, a few folks have been having trouble figuring it out. Um, let, me, let me try and walk you through it. Uh, hook it up to power. Don't switch it on just yet. There's a button on the back. Hold the button down. Put the power on. And you're immediately in config mode. And that will come up with some random configuration. The first digit is the number of series cell connections. So if you had, uh, say, a 24 volt um, lead acid battery, you would put two in, in there. I'll, I'll walk you through the next bit in, in a second. And, and, and the next um, letter is the chemistry. In this case, C means lithium ion. Now, you just hold the button down and you can step through all the way up to see about yeah 16 was the top number of series connections which is about uh, 50 volts or just over 50 volts no more 60 volts P P is is for uh, PB lead, lead and so one uh, P would be a, a voltage range of about 12 volts 2P would be 24 and so on um, and then you come to F, lithium ion phosphate, 1F, 2F. 2F would be uh, median voltage 3.2, 6.4, or 7.2 on the high side. Uh, so we, we'll, we'll go at uh, 4F. And, and now it's set to 4F. Just disconnect the power. Let the capacitor <laughs> completely die away. That's, that's caught me out a couple of times. I'll just make sure it's completely disconnected. And then when we switch it on again... Oh, by the way, it needs a few volts to, to start it off, uh, five or six volts, so uh, we'll get you there. Now, on this display, I've got six volts, um, a four-series lithium-ion phosphate at 3.6 volts would be, let me see, 12, 14, 14.4, right? 14.4 volts. So what we'll do is we'll step this up uh, a volt at a time. It takes a while to react. We'll get it up to 11 volts, and we're seeing it creep up already. I'll take it up to 12 volts. It'll rise again. 13 volts. Fourteen volts. We'll switch over to the tenth. And we're now at 96, 97%. If I take it up to 4, it'll be 100%. So there you go. Terrific module. Uh, just step through the settings by holding the power button down when you connect power. And when you release, make sure you've uh, fully let uh, the uh, capacitor discharge in your power supply. And then reconnect power. And uh, you can set it on lithium iron, lithium iron phosphate and uh, lead acid up to around about 50-60 volts. All the best. Cheers.